Welcome again. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Yin Friday class. Um, we are going to start uh, in a pose called Supported Bridge. And I'm going to give you several options and you see what fits your body, what, um, you know, really get, I want you to get really comfortable in this position. Um, so if you want a little bit more edgy, you can take your blocks and just kind of line them up right next to each other. So this is going to be your base. Your hips are going to go on top of this. And actually for yin, I like to take a blanket and put it on top of these two blocks. And then you're just going to lay down on your back and take a nice deep breath in. Lift the hips up and slide that structure under your hips. So this is option one. Option two is if you don't have blocks, just take a bunch of uh, pillows and do the same thing. So you're going to take the pillows underneath your hips. Option three, which is really, really, really restorative, is to take your bolster if you've got a bolster. And same thing here, except that you're going to put the bolster right in the middle of the mat and then sit right in the middle of the bolster. And as you lay down, you're going to allow your chest and heart to open while your hips are lifted. So either, either one of those options are great. Um, get to wherever you want to go first. We're going to stay in that pose for three or four minutes. So make yourself super comfortable. I'm going to go with the block and the blanket. I just feel like I need a little bit more firmness underneath my hips. And then once you arrive this position, however it fits your body today, let your palms be open and kind of lift your chest up a little bit and slide your shoulder blades down your back. And then let your knees knock in towards each other. So you really want to let the hips just melt on top of your structure, whatever your structure means, whether it's the bolster, whether it's the blocks, whether it's a bunch of pillows. And, you know, honestly, if you don't want to do um, a structure under your hips, that's okay too. You can just lay down on your back, let your knees knock in towards each other, and just close your eyes for a moment. I, I'm going to just invite you to drop in invite you to feel the sensation of breath and I know the minute we notice something the minute we begin to hone in our attention whether it's the breath or a movement we instantly want to change it we feel like maybe this is not sufficient enough or maybe I need to have a deeper breath Instead of going that route, I'm going to invite you to just let your breath be as natural as possible. Almost like there's just no change. You're just here in this moment, in this really, really precious moment that you have created, that space that you have created to be here, to take care of yourself. And then with that intention, just notice the breath. And as you do, notice where you kind of feel the breath the most. Some of us may feel it at the tip of our nose as the breath is entering the nose. Sometimes you might feel it with the rise and fall of the chest or the belly. Wherever that is for you, keep your attention right there to that spot. And then see if you can actually just receive it. Almost like you're just receiving a hug from someone you love. As opposed to leaning into it, just allow that hug of a breath to be received by your body.
And as you begin to notice that, notice how just, just being able to sit or actually lay down with your breath quiets the mind just a little bit. Now we're going to slowly shake the breath. So I'm going to invite you to take a nice deep inhalation. Feel your breath wherever you're feeling in the most. And then exhale all the breath out. And then hold the breath out. So pause just a little bit with the exhale, after the exhalation. That pause may be two breaths, maybe three breaths, maybe longer, it just depends on you. So a nice deep inhalation in all the way. Exhale all the air out, the, every ounce of the air. Exhale it out and then pause here. Hold the breath out for as long as you can without struggling. And then continue on. Inhale. Exhale. And then pause. Hold the breath out. Till you can't hold it out anymore. Inhale. Exhale. Hold the breath out. Two more times on your own. Inhale. Exhale. Pause with the breath out. Inhale, last round, exhale, and pause with the breath out. And then as you're ready, return to your normal breath. Extend the left leg out, draw the right knee to your chest. If this created a little bit of pressure in that lumbar spine, just bend that left knee a little bit more. And then hang on to your uh, right knee, right um, shin. Rotate that right ankle one direction and rotate it the opposite direction. And then let that right knee open out to the right. So let it go as far as it can comfortably go. Don't try and push it or force that knee at all. Your left hand can rest on your left hip. Inhale, the right knee back towards your chest. Hug and compress that right hip. And then place the right foot down. Bend the left knee, put the left foot flat. Extend the right leg out. Draw the left knee to your chest. Interlace the fingers and rotate that left ankle one direction and then the opposite direction. And then pause here in the middle, take that left knee out to the left. Again, if this is too much compression on your low back, just bend that right knee a little bit more. Breathe into your belly, breathe into your hip, inner thigh. Inhale, back to the center, compress that left knee a little bit more and then put the left foot down, bend that right knee, put the right foot down. Take a nice deep breath in. Lift your hips up first, slide the structure from underneath, and then nice and easy, lower the hips all the way down. Roll your knees over to the left, pause here for a moment. Take your left hand on top of your right thigh, and then gently begin to extend that right leg straight. So my right leg is hovering off the ground. And actually the right foot is parallel to the floor. Turn the right toes up, lift that right leg up towards the ceiling. Turn the right toes in, lower that left right leg down. So when you're turning the toes up, 
Can you turn the entire femur bone, the thigh bone in the hip socket? When you turn it down, can you turn the entire leg in the hip socket? Continue on, inhale. Right leg goes up, exhale, lower the right leg down. Inhale, turn the entire leg to lift the leg up. Exhale, turn the entire leg to lower this down. This is such a beautiful uh, practice to do for your hips. If you tend to get sciatic nerve um, pain in the hip, do this regularly. And you don't have to do that many, but you definitely do want to do it consciously and intentionally. And then next time the leg is uh, parallel to the floor, pause here, bring that right knee in, interlace your fingers around the right shin, lift that knee up towards the ceiling, and then take your left hand on the inside of the left thigh as you separate the legs away from each other. Squeeze that right knee in, and now lift that left knee up, put your feet flat on the floor, and you're just gonna roll over to the other side. I'm gonna turn around this way so you can see me better. So drop your knees over to the right, and then extend that left leg straight. Flex the foot. Now, from here, you're gonna turn the toes, the knee, and the hip up. Lift the left leg up, and then turn the entire leg, and lower the leg down. Just so it's parallel to the floor, you don't really wanna drop it down. Make sure you control the movement, nice and easy. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Each time you're lifting the leg, you're turning the entire thigh bone in the hip socket, lift, and turn the entire thigh bone in the hip socket and lower. Then just do a few more, nice and easy. Move with your breath, inhale, lift, and exhale and lower down. Two more times, please. Inhale, turn the entire leg, and exhale and lower down. Inhale, lift one more time, and exhale, and lower down. Pause here as the leg is parallel to the floor. Bend the knee, bring it to your chest, and then lift the knee up. Take your right hand on the right thigh. Just kind of guide that right hip down as you're lifting the left knee up. And then bring both knees to your chest, hug the knees in. You can rotate the ankles one direction and then the opposite direction. And then putting the left foot flat on the floor, extend the right leg straight up, please. Interlace the fingers around the hamstring. Point and flex the foot, point and flex. If you like to, you can extend the left leg flat, point it and flex it, point and flex. And then next time the leg is flexed, pause. Bend the right knee, bring it to your chest. And then imagine someone sitting on your heel. You're going to press that person up towards the ceiling. So try and keep that, that right leg flexed the whole time. You don't want the person to fall, but just straighten the right knee as much as you can as you lift the heel up. Inhale, draw it to your chest. Exhale, press. So you're doing a little leg press here but really nice and controlled. Each time you're extending that hamstring, you're squeezing the quadricep. So you always want to work the antagonistic muscles. So squeeze the quadricep as you stretch out the hamstring. The more you squeeze the thigh muscle, the more you stretch out the hamstring. One more time, please. Inhale, and then as you squeeze the quadricep, press that leg straight. And now bend the right knee to your chest. Put the right foot flat. Inhale, draw the left knee to your chest. Interlace the fingers behind the hamstring. Flex the foot and then extend that leg up. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. If you like to, you can extend that right leg flat. And then next time the leg is flexed, pause. Bend the left knee to your chest. 
and then flex as you press that hamstring straight. So really work the opposite muscles here. Before you press the heel, squeeze the quadricep and that allows you to stretch out the hamstring a little bit more. So in this sense, you don't even have to bring the leg close to your body. You can just go straight up towards the sky. Even if your leg is down here, just press that heel away and squeeze the quadricep as you press and extend the hamstring straight. So we all have things to work on. Some of us, you know, maybe weaker, tighter hamstrings. Some of us, weaker quadricep. In this way, we're actually working all the muscles at the same time. Beautiful, beautiful work, everyone. One more time and press it up. Very nice. Bring the knee to your chest. Bring the right knee to your chest. Rock a little bit side to side. Roll over to one side and let's go ahead and have a seat. As you come to your comfortable seat, please extend that right leg out, bend the left knee. So for this one, I'm going to ask you to, um, if you have a block, please take the block and put it on the inside of that right knee. And you can actually take as many blocks as you want, or you can even put a couple of um, pillows right here. All we're going to do is take the right elbow and put it on top of our structure. The left arm is going to go up and over, stretching the gap. So we're staying here for two minutes. What I want you to feel here, and you know, I'm not going to tell you what you're going to feel, but I want you to begin to experience the left side of your body expanding. Okay? So all these ribs have these muscles in between the ribs, they're called intercostal muscles. Those muscles are part of the uh, no, primary respiratory muscles, right? So without those muscles, our lungs would do nothing. So I want you to feel those muscles expanding. Take a nice deep breath in. You can rest your head in your right hand. If this is just really easy for you, you can lower your structure down. But again, it doesn't really matter how far you go. It's all I'm asking you to do to feel that expansion on the left side of the body. Your left hand can just drape over your head. You can close your eyes. Nice, deep. especially if that, if you feel that left hip has to come up, I would suggest that you raise the structure a little bit more so that the left hip stays down on the floor and then you really feel that nice stretch. Breathe into that left lung, even though you can't really isolate the lungs, but let all those muscles in between the ribs stretch out. The front of your ribs and the back of your ribs. Take beautiful deep breaths in. And exhale. Three more deep breaths in. Nice deep inhalation. Fill up the lungs. Exhale. Empty the lungs. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And then really, really slowly come on up. Just sit tall for a moment and notice how much space you've created on this left side. It's amazing. And then just switch sides. So extend the left leg out, bring that right heel in. Take your structure and put it on the left side of the inner knee. Your left elbow is going to go on top of your structure. You can rest your head in your hand. And then reach the right arm up. And as you do, let the hand just rest on your head. And now we're opening into the right side of the body. And come. Uh, by the way, the liver lives on this side, so the liver is right here, right below the 
It actually is tucked under your rib cage on the right side, right underneath the diaphragm. So the diaphragm is kind of uh, a diagonal, is in a diagonal, 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 is in a diagonal. Sometimes my words come out wrong. Um, but the liver is right here underneath that right side of the ribs. Okay, so really breathe into that space. Breathe into the intercostal muscles in between the ribs. Exhale. Let that right hip stay down. The beautiful thing about this yin practice is accepting our bodies the way it is right now in this moment. So even if you're feeling a little bit of a tension, a little bit of a tightness, be at peace with it. The most important thing is that you have taken this opportunity to be here. What a beautiful gift to be able to give to yourself. Some of you have had crazy weeks. Maybe stuff has happened. And yet, you have the fortitude to be here to take care of yourself. That right there is the sign of really an aware person, an aware individual. So really nice deep breaths in. Every moment that we take to give to ourselves is actually accumulated into moments that we are able to be more mindful of our loved ones as well. Every moment. Breathe into that right side body, breathe into the intercostal muscles, let them expand, exhale it out. Two more times, inhale and exhale. One more deepest breath, inhale in and exhale. And then gently come on all the way up and put your blocks to the side, please. Bring your soles of your feet together. And for this one, this is the, doesn't have to be a tight um, Bharatanasana or butterfly. In fact, I want you to have your heels little bit farther than usual from your in, in groin. So this is going to be more of a diamond shape than a tight Bharatanasana. Your hands can go on top of your ankles and for this one I'm going to suggest again a couple of blocks and all you're going to do is just drop your forehead down and put it on top of your blocks. And if you don't have blocks but if you have a bolster uh, nice way to do this is take the bolster and then rest your forehead on top so the intention is not necessarily how far are we going to get down here but to have something under your forehead to rest on create your little structure or big structure just rest your forehead on top of the block and then now i'm going to ask you to breathe into the back lungs the back ribs. So the majority of our lungs lives in our backside. As you breathe into the lungs back there, feel again the intercostal muscles in between each rib expanding. And exhale all there. Two minutes here. So breathe nice deep breaths in and exhale. Just keep your attention on your breath. Even as your mind starts wondering about what you need to do after class or 
and conversation that you had earlier just bring it back to your breath your breath is the most important thing in this moment I'm just going to be quiet here for one minute because I really want you to feel and sense your own breath without my notations. deep breath in please feel how that expands your back upper back and as you exhale feel your hips even softening a little bit more towards the floor and then gently begin to come on up now put your blocks to the side please we're going to move just a little bit so put everything to the side whatever you got on your mat come to tabletop pose please Inhale, send that left leg back behind you. Exhale, draw the left knee to your chest and step the left foot in between your hands. Lift the torso up, take a nice deep breath and reach the arms up, go as far as it feels good and then circle them all the way back and down. And two more times, inhale, reach the arms up and then circle it all the way back and down. Inhale and reach. Exhale and back behind you. Inhale up and open up your heart. Open up the chest. Exhale and back. Inhale, reach up and exhale. Down and back. Last one. Inhale. The biggest breath here. Exhale. Beautiful. Bring your hands down. Step your left knee back. Take the right leg back behind you. Inhale, exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Inhale, lift the chest up as you lift the arms up. Exhale, roll the shoulders down your back as you lower the arms down. Inhale, lift up. All we're doing is just opening the heart, opening the chest. Inhale, these are all important muscles for your lungs. Exhale. The lungs are not muscles, so they can't do anything by themselves. It's all the muscles surrounding the lungs that allow us to breathe. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Inhale, breathe into the lungs. Make yourself really big. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, and down. Very nice. If you feel a little lightheaded, just bring the hands down. That's all because we're breathing deep. Inhale, lift the chest up. Tuck your toes under. Lift the hips up. Downward facing dog. Bend the right knee as you do. Straighten the left knee. And then switch sides. Press the opposite heel down as you straighten one knee. And bend the other knee. Just move your legs a little bit at a time and gently begin to walk your feet all the way to your hands. Bend the knees, please, and come all the way up to standing. We're gonna continue with our breath. Keep the feet hip width apart. Bend the knees as you reach the arms up. Inhale, straighten the knees. Exhale, lower the arms down. Bend the knees, come into chair. Lift the arms up, inhale. Open up your lungs, exhale. Three more times, inhale, really reach up, expand the lungs, exhale. Two more times, inhale, expand, exhale, lower the arms down. Last one, inhale, nice deep breath in, expand and exhale. Now lower the hands down, bring the hands to your chest, take a big step back with your left foot, please. Bend the right knee, we're going to come into our warrior one, and then we're just going to pause here for a moment. So hands on your hips, see if you can turn your torso to the 
top of your mat and bend that right knee a little bit deeper now can you pick up the left heel off the ground and then lean your torso forward as you lean your torso forward you notice that you can lengthen the left leg come back up bend the left knee and then lean the torso forward as you straighten the left knee inhale lift the torso bend the left knee exhale remember how we were laying down on our back and really lengthening the heel as we're uh, extending the leg up towards the ceiling we're doing essentially the same thing here so bend the knee and then press that left knee as you come forward two more times inhale lift the chest bend the knee exhale press that leg straight as you come forward last one inhale lift the chest exhale and straighten the knee pause here for a moment and then step the left foot next to the right foot extend that right leg back behind you coming to warrior one first so outside edge of the foot pressing down this is so you can get yourself grounded first hands on your hips and then turn your torso to the top of your mat keep that belly engaged now pick up that right heel off the ground and lower the torso down towards the left knee inhale lift the torso up bend that right knee exhale lower the torso down as you straighten the right knee press that right heel up to an imaginary wall inhaling up bend the knee exhale lower down as you press that right leg straight inhale really good for your balance here exhale and press continue on with your own breath inhale lift the chest bend the knee exhale these works are really subtle but very very important for the hips for the lungs for the core exhale press press that right knee straight last two inhale and exhale and last one inhale bend the right knee and exhale straighten right knee hold really make yourself aerodynamic press that right heel back squeeze the quadricep lift the kneecap up straighten that right leg and then step the right foot next to the left foot feet are hip width apart once again bend the knees as you reach up inhale straighten the knees and open up your chest and then this time as you bend the knees fold forward inhale halfway up exhale plant your hands down step your left foot back bring that left knee down to the floor so come into your lizard lunge heel toe that right foot out to the right as you bring both hands on the inside of that right foot lift the chest up pause here you can stay here or you can take your elbows and put it on top of your block you can stay here or if you feel really flexible you can bring your elbows on the floor but make sure your knees are feeling fine if you need to you can slide a blanket under that left knee we're going to stay here for one minute so breathe into that right hip breathe into the low back your right foot is pressing down on the floor and the, make sure that the right knee and the right toes are facing the same direction so you don't want the toes to be facing forward while the knees go down to the side. Toes and the knees are facing the same direction. Deep, deep stretch for that right hip. And remember, you can always take care of yourself. So if you need to come back up on your hands or even put blocks under your hands, you can do that. Just depends on how far you want to go today. How far does your body want to go today? And then gently come all the way back up and take that right knee back. Come back into your tabletop pose and then step the left foot up. Come into your lunge. 
Heel to that left foot out to the left. So turning the toes and the knee 45 degree angle. Drop the hips down. You can stay here. This is a great place to stay and practice lizard pose. If you want to, you can see if you want to bring your elbows down on a block. Or maybe some of you want to take your elbows down all the way down onto the floor. But make sure that feels okay on that left knee. If you want to, you can always put a blanket under the right knee. And again, the left foot is completely flat on the floor. So I'm not turning the left toes out or um, the inside edge of the left foot. I'm not lifting it up. So the foot is all down, but the toes and the knee are pointing the same direction, 45 degrees. Close your eyes. We just have another minute here. Let the head drop. Breathe into your backside, breathe into that low back, breathe into the left hip. One more deep breath in and then gently begin to press up. Take that left knee back behind you. And now we're going to set up for our lovely um, uh, child's pose. This is going to be a supported child's pose. So I'm going to invite you, if you have a, a bolster, to put the bolster on top of a block like so. Take your knees wide apart from each other. Bring your big toes together and you're just going to fall forward. Like you feel like a baby. This is like such a baby child pose. Um, if you don't have a bolster, that's okay. You don't need a bolster. If you have a block, you can put your head on top of a block. If you've got a bunch of blankets or um, pillows, just pile them up right on top of another, right in front of you, and just fold your torso over. So it's just meant to be a supported put situation here for you. You want to feel like you don't want to feel like you're holding yourself up. So definitely have your uh, buttocks down. If you feel like you, your butt is lifting up in the air, I, what I always like to do is take a blanket and put it in between my hamstring and my calf, and that actually raises the heels a little bit so, it's, uh, so your hips are down on the floor or the hips are not up in the air. And then turn your head to one side. We're going to stay here for a couple minutes. Now you really let your chest rest on your bolster or your blocks or your pillows. Now in this pose, I want you to really expand the belly. So with your breath, let your belly just expand. And then as you exhale, let your belly just fall away and let the back melt. Inhale, feel the belly expand. Exhale and soften everything. Soften the hips, soften the jaws. You can turn your head the other way for a few moments. Inhale, feel the belly expand. The reason we have our knees wide apart from each other is so that the belly can just fall in between the thighs. Okay, so it's really easy on the hips. And you really feel the breath moving into the belly. And exhale. In our culture, we're always holding our bellies in. I want you to do the exact opposite. Really let the belly just fall. Nice and easy. Like a Buddha belly. Just breathe into the belly. And exhale. Couple more times, please. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale. Mm. 
and inhale. Such a restorative pose. If you like to stay there, you can. If you like to move with me, go ahead and lift your chest up. Put your um, structure to the side, please. And then just have a seat. And as you come into a comfortable seat, put your feet flat on the floor, lay down on your back. Let the back of your head rest comfortably on the floor. If you're in child's pose and you want to stay there for your Shavasana, please feel free to do that. Um, if you're on your back, just kind of windshield wipe your knees side to side a little bit, letting your knees drop over to the left and to the right. And for our final pose, if you're not in child's pose, I'm going to really suggest that you Put a blanket under your knees, or if you have a bolster, you can put the bolster under your knees. This is nice and easy on your low back. And just rest your head either on a pillow or on your mat. Let your uh, arms be open next to your body, palms open, close your eyes. And then Take three deep breaths in. So the deepest breaths of the day. Nice deep inhalation. <sighs> and sigh it out and open mouth, let it go. Two more times, inhale through the nose. <sighs> Exhale through an open mouth. Last one, inhale through the nose. <sighs> And exhale out of an open mouth and then just rest. Rest in your final pose, Shavasana. Feel the tingling in your body all the way from the toes to the head. Feel the pulsation in the palms of your hands bottom of your feet. And as you lay here in your resting pose, just again, give yourself some loving kindness for creating this time and space to be here. Take care of yourself. Recognizing this moment as truly a precious moment. These are the moments that we can fill up ourselves with what we need so that we can extend this love to others. As you're ready, gently begin to deepen your breath. If you're in child's pose, slowly come out of the pose. You can just straighten out your knees and tap your knees a little bit. If you're on your back, draw your knees to your chest, roll over to one side, press yourself to a comfortable seat. And everyone, just find a comfortable seat, please. Bring in your hands to the heart center. Bow down to yourself. I bow down to all of you. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your practice. It is always an honor and pleasure to be here with you. Have a beautiful weekend. Namaste.